Right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, I'm gonna do a video today on uh, on a 20 personnel slash uh, 21 uh, personnel look using a uh, a hybrid sniffer type tight end type uh, in the slot as a jet motion guy, so that you can gain uh, blockers to the front side and the back side of some of your uh, some of your run game schemes. All right, make sure you check out some of our sponsors, Dome Hats. All right, so the headwear sponsor of Play Fast Football and, and the hat company I use with the school that I'm currently at. This is one of my uh, Rydell Dome hats. All right, so make sure you check out Dome. They've got a custom online hat builder, which allows you to go in and customize your own hat so you can build it with your own logo, change the panels, change the colors, change the eyelets, change the stitching color, make the back Velcro, make the back uh, snapback, make it a fitted hat or adjustable hat, uh, different different. Um, uh, bills that you can have flat bill versus bends. So customize your hat. Every hat has a story. Make sure you're using all right dome to help you tell your hat story. Game strat sideline replay system we use. If you're looking for a highly affordable, highly reliable sideline replay system, check out Game Strat. Baker Sporting Goods, which is a company that I use uh, for my uh, spirit pack stuff, my players gear, under uniform gear, the uniforms that we order, we get distributed through Baker Sports. My coaches gear, any fan stores we build, we build through Baker Sports, and then they were also um, they sponsor our media day locally for our players, all right, and they do a good job with that, getting exposure for our players locally. Just Play Football, which is the, uh, it's the uh, play diagramming tool that I will use when I'm speaking at clinics or speaking at webinars or doing stuff for my Patreon site. Uh, it's a powerful presentation. It's a different way to present your playbook to players. You can build in unique quizzes on your playbook and game plans and other things, so it's a little bit more interactive. So it's a... Uh, you know, it's digital software taking your program to the next level, and it's a more powerful way to present your material to players and other coaches. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. We have one in our weight room. Get thousands of reps on striking without needing a partner. Elbows in, thumbs up, different uh, tensions in the coils, so it gets harder to strike and, and compress the coils in as the kids get stronger, so you can move them up as they develop more and make it tougher on them. Get those hips involved. Get the eyes where they belong. Proper hand placement, thumbs up, all the things you need to do to strike. Check out Difference USA. High and tight, which is the ball security training aid. Use it with your skilled players, your running backs. They have to hold the ball in a certain spot. They have to have the wrist above the elbow. They have to have split the tip. All right, and then there's panels that, that have sensors in them. When the ball is held correctly with all the proper points of pressure, you'll hear an auditory beep. If you hear that beep, you're holding the ball correctly. If you do not hear that beep, you're doing something wrong, builds muscle memory so kids know exactly what high and tight is, where to have the ball to have it in the best position to avoid fumbles, ball security, job security. Make sure you check out all right, high and tight. So what we're going to look at today all right, is uh, what looks like a 20 personnel split back set. All right, but what we're going to have in the slot here is we're going to have a hybrid tight end type. So think of like uh, the Kyle Pitts from, from Florida is, is a perfect example. All right, we have a kid that we like here that's a receiver slash uh, H-back sniffer tight end for us, about six foot 180, pretty good blocker. He can kick an end. He's athletic enough to get outside of an end and, and, and be a lead blocker on the perimeter. He's also uh, athletic enough to be a good receiver down the field in the play action game. So we're looking at it kind of from a quasi 21 personnel grouping from this twins open set. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy across like it's jet motion. So we're going to snap the ball when he's still on that side of the formation. So he's going to come across and give the illusion of jet, but we're going to snap the ball while he's still on that side of the formation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run GT read, all right, and we're going to run it away from the jet motion. Quarterback's going to read the backside, and then we're going to put the other back as a lead blocker. So we're going to jet motion this inside here. We're going to bring him across to escort the cue. We're going to run normal, all right, GT, depending on whether we can scoop the three or we got to go back on it, all right. So if we have to go back on it, we'll run normal. Sorry, if we are running read, we don't have to worry. We'll go back on it. We'll double through the one to the back side. We'll pull and kick this. We'll pull and wrap. And then what we'll do is we'll take the front side back and we'll use him as a lead blocker to get that overhang that we've lost because of the motion. The motion guy will give us an extra body to the front side. So when the quarterback reads the backside end on GT read here, all right, when the quarterback reads the backside end, if we get a pull, hopefully with guard tackle pulling, we can keep the will involved here so that if the weak safety's down or, or the rotation is to the weak side, eight man front type stuff, we get a lead blocker for the cue on the pull. A lot of conflicting things going on, jet motion this way, guard tackle pull that way. 
And now if they're a spill team and they happen to get under, so if they were to get this end down and spill that first puller, now if we can get the second puller around, so if we can get the second puller around, now we still have somebody for the apex and we still have somebody for the mic. So we got great numbers front side, great angle on the wheel to get it down block. If we do pull, the quarterback now has an escort to the front side. All right, and then uh, uh, with anything else you're doing, you could always build in some type of throws to the outside if you don't like the box, if you don't like what's going on, all right, with numbers or you see a blitz look or something that you're just not comfortable with and they're giving you easy throws outside, build in access throws outside that can, that can always give you easy answers for your quarterback, especially if you're a tempo team. All right, so that's uh, one way to run, all right, GT read. Next thing we could do is we could go jet or the illusion. We're really just giving the illusion of jet. We're not really running. We're giving the illusion of jet, and at some point we have to give the jet to that player or get him involved in the read uh, on a front side read somehow so that the jet is viable. Because right now it's just jet or cruise motion. A friend of mine calls it cruise because it's telling the quarterback when to snap the ball, and it's telling this guy that he's going to come in here. All right, and, and it looks like Jet, but he's never really right now in the place that I have drawn up. He's not a viable option on a Jet sweep, so you can call it a different thing if you want. Jet, cruise, uh, slip, whatever you want to call. All right, but the bottom line is we're bringing them in here quick so that hopefully they can't, all right, fully rotate. If they do decide to rotate, then we have to have answers. So now we're going to go GT bash. So now what we're going to do, all right, is, is we, are going to, uh, we are going to now go Jet motion this way. And so now we're going to go jet motion this way, and we're going to run GT back the other way with a kick and a wrap here. It's going to be QGT. Now the jet guy will come and be an extra blocker to the printer, and now we're going to run front side bash. So this back's coming across. We're going to read that front side in, all right, and try and give them some conflicting theories where they've got a lot of things going on. They've got two pullers going backside, but at the same time, we've got the run away from the bash going there, all right? The only thing I don't like about the GT bash play here is depending on how they read it, if you get some type of scrape exchange, okay? So if you get some type of scrape here, exchange there, because we motion the slot that way, we only have one lead blocker for the apex, so I'm not really sure... Um, if we can get to, all right, that scrape exchange there with the Mike linebacker on the bash play. All right, but there's a lot of things going on, a lot of conflicting reads off of the same motion, off of the same things that we always do within our run game, same theory, same G GT theory. Now we're just doing it the other way, adding, all right, a back away sweep component to the play and giving the quarterback an escort or a lead blocker, all right, back to the, uh, back to the keep side. So if we get the counter up inside and, and they're an upfield end and we don't have to worry about it, all right, then we just get the counter up inside where it belongs. He still goes to force. If they spill the counter and they make it go wider, we still can get the tackle around and the jet motion guy around so we can equate that number versus the spill using the jet, all right, sniffer, tight end, hybrid, whatever you want to call him, using him as an extra guy there. Again, what don't I like? Bash theory, scrape exchange, Mike over the top. I only have one blocker for those two. All right, so if you know you're getting scrape exchange stuff, maybe not a great play, dial up some other things, all right, that can possibly help you versus uh, the scrape exchange stuff. Next thing we're going to run is we're going to run a zone bluff theory. All right, so we're going to run some type of inside zone. We're going to use... We're going to use the jet guy as a bluff player, and then we're going to add another blocker. So we're going to make it like the old uh, double cruise stuff you used to see all right, you still see it now in the NFL and college, and, and I first started seeing it uh, back when Kaepernick was, was with uh, Nevada, and then with uh, when he went to San Francisco, they started doing out of three-back stuff. New Mexico used to do it in their triple option game with double cruise players. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to build in some form of regular zone read. So we're going to build in some form of regular zone read where we're just going to run inside zone, front side. We're going to bring the jet motion across again, all right, and now what we're going to do is the jet guy is going to read the backside defensive end, all right, so if the backside defensive end is an upfield player, we are going to kick him, and we're going to take the other back, and we're going to insert him on the next thing that shows, so we're going to get 
a kind of like a double lead or a kick insert play if the end is upfield. All right, if the end's upfield, that means the quarterback's going to give. If the end's upfield, we can go ahead and kick him and we can insert the other back and we don't need to worry about it. All right, now if we get the zone to wind back, we've got it with an insert so it becomes almost similar to an ISO theory. So you're reading the backside end, he's up the field, you kick him with the, with the motion player and you insert the other back. Now, if the end is a squeeze pill, if you are playing scrape exchange teams, a lot of times, right, like right now I've got the, the three technique to that side, so you probably wouldn't see it to the three technique side. But if you are playing scrape exchange, here's one of the good answers. Here's your jet motion. He comes here. If the end is a spill player, he allows the end to spill and he does not touch him. He runs what we call bluff. All right. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. We call it a bluff track. So the end spills. He now goes around to the perimeter. The backside back sees the end spills, so he goes around, and now we get zone read. If they were to spill chase, we're going to pull, and now when we pull, we've got two escorts or two lead blockers okay, for, uh, for the quarterback on, on the full play. So now if they're a scrape exchange team, and, and again, you probably won't get it to the three technique, but if they were trying to get this backer out and this safety down, and they were eliciting the pull for the quarterback and trying to get an extra body to the quarterback, now you have two lead blockers off your zone theory, okay, where you can run your simple zone theory there with two lead blockers. If the end's upfield, kick it and insert. If the end chases or squeezes, double bluff everybody outside, and now we have two escorts. I could also see, all right, with when you watch the Georgia Southerns play and, and, and teams that run a lot of option, coastal and teams like that, I could also see a zone theory where it's inside zone here, bluff path here, triple there, and now if we pull, all right, We've now got a triple theory with a lead blocker. All right, so I could see that being a zone triple kind of off the zone bluff. Very similar, you're inside zone blocking it, however you do it, whether you zone block it or gap block it, however you choose to do it. All right, on the front side, you're taking care of that. You're building in your read components with they're already in your offense if you're running this style of offense. Now you're kicking and inserting. You're double bluffing and pulling the quarterback. You're bluffing and pulling the quarterback with a triple. So now you've got option, all right, with a lead blocker. Then the last thing I think you can do in a very simple manner, depending on rotations and what you're doing and giving you another answer, in a very simple manner, and what I would choose to do probably more often than not is I would go with some type of seven-man protection. All right, I would go with some type of seven-man protection personally so I can, if I, if I am diagramming some type of shot play, I would like to get the ball thrown. So now off that same jet motion, you're going to bring that jet motion in here, all right? And now what you're probably going to do, depending on however you want to protect it, you're going to go with some type of, uh, probably a, a, some type of what would look like an ISO or a lead play. So you would go with some type of scenario here where you would set the protection this way, all right? Base the five technique, get a lead blocker for the mic, get a zone fake inside to then take anything that comes off the front side edge. Front side post. Jet player, all right, now, jet player here, bluff, wheel, climb, all right, the backside there, and now you've got a seven-man protection post, all right, wheel built in to the number two, hopefully, that player's got to be able to run a little bit, obviously, because he's got to get, the ball's going to be snapped on this side, he's got to get from here to the wheel, all right, and then you're going to run a climb back behind that. All right, so now you can do this several different ways. We toyed with thinking about double wheel where, you know, maybe within a six-man protection scheme, we use the jet guy as the first wheel to clear the wheel out, and then we try to get the bluff guy behind that. All right, so there's some different things you can do within a play-action game. You can get as fancy as you want to, but it gives you, all right, three to four simple runs off the same action, and then it gives you play-action wheel off the, same, off the same action, so you get a play-action shot down the field. This could be something that you could do uh, if you were a, a tempo team that liked to have certain packages or series, this could be something that you could do, all right, to, to both sides. And you could have four plays drawn up, and you could rip them one, two, three, four. You could call them. The kids could learn them in, in some type of sequential manner, or you could you could have the kids learn them. And, all right, this is, you know, this is what we call our, our let's just say, you know, if we had him over there, let's just say we call this our NASCAR set and we had play one, two, three, four, and then if we wanted to flip the formation and do it the other way, all right, maybe we call that Indy, and now we Indy was spread left, so we just took 
the same split backs and we put the back over here so now the jet motion we run all the same plays just the other way and now the jet would come this way all right and then you had the same four plays out of indy just going the other way so that you could get into up tempo packages however you want to do it you can build your offense however you want but what i think it does is off that jet motion using that hybrid tight end fullback slot player again somebody like a kyle pitts from florida comes to mind right away all right obviously somebody that can run somebody that is physical enough to kick it in somebody that is athletic enough to bluff it in and get out on a perimeter and block and then somebody who can be a threat in the passing game so if you have that type of player who's a hybrid tight end hybrid fullback really good receiver matchup issue big enough to block fast enough to, to get open in space and create matchups good enough ball handling skills so he can catch the football if you have a player like that you build in all right this this split back jet motion package four things you can do you can run your whole offense out of it if you want to off of those looks but here's four simple things that you can do you can do them tempo you can do them package however you want you can speed it up to where these are certain you know, again, certain packages, say NASCAR, the kids know, get into it. Indy, the kids know, get into it the other way. When we're in there, these are plays one, two, three, four. So play one is GT read, play two is GT bash, play three is zone bluff, play four is play action wheel. All right, if it was me, the way I always do my offense, I would keep this one direction. All right, and, and we would rep it in that direction, and we would run the plays that way. And if I got to a spot on the field, if I was on a right hash mark and this had to be a right set and I didn't like it for whatever reason, I'd get out of it or run something else. But if it was in the middle or on the left, I could stay in it. Just because if we do it from a sequential play number one, two, three, four, it's all the same assignments all the time. So every time I would say NASCAR and call these four plays, it's always the same assignments on each play. It doesn't have to flip and say, well, when it's NASCAR, it's going this way, but when it's Indy, it's going the other way. All right, so that's just the way I think personally. But great tempo package, great if you got a, a good quarterback, great if you're running read game, great if you've got that hybrid guy. It's a good way to get extra blockers front side and back side, lead the side of the GT, but also read the back side of the GT and get a blocker for the quarterback escort there. Add to your zone game with a double bluff theory or a kick insert theory, depending on how the back side end plays, and give yourself a play action shot. All right, guys, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the holidays are going well for you. Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas. Hopefully you're all safe out there. All right, remember to keep doing all the things we need to do to get back to normal. If you played your season, all right, I uh, hope everything went well for you. If your season is upcoming for you, I cross my fingers that you can play. And always um, thank you for what you guys do for Play Fast Football for me, for my YouTube site. Remember, if you're not a subscriber, click that subscription button. Turn the notifications on so you know every time we do a video like this or if I do if I go live on YouTube, you'll get the notification. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You like this stuff, you hate it, let me know. It tells me what content you guys really like. And if you don't like the content that's just as informative to me, then we know not to do videos on that content again. Always leave a message. I respond to every message that I can get to. All right, so stay safe out there. Continue enjoying your holiday. Uh, if you're taking a chance to decompress from football a little bit and unwind, unwind, decompress, study social media, learn what's going on out there. You can still learn the game. You don't have to be all in all the time take a break and then when it's time to go again in the off season get back after it all right remember guys you won't play well until you play fast i'll see you next time